There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery Mystery Island Come on! Won't you come along with me? Mystery Island Hoo-ha! Mystery Island Hoo-ha! Ha, me as to say, me shipmate, but ye ain't no match for Captain Long John Silver, eh? <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry, I got a little carried away, you know, with the costume and all. Well, I suppose this is Buccaneer Bay after all. <gasps> so I suppose a pretend sword fight is fine, as long as no guests see and no one gets hurt. Ouch! Oh, Give me that. Sorry. <laughs> It's your fault. I shouldn't have been goofing off in the first place. Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Okay, so this may be a dumb question, no but... No nonsense. There's no such thing as a dumb question. Okay, great. So, what exactly is a buccaneer, anyway? I take it back. That is a dumb question. Hmm. You mean to tell me you've been at Buccaneer Bay this entire time and you don't know what a buccaneer is? Well, I've only been here one day. Really? I guess it just seems like longer than that. Hmm. So what is it, a fish? No, no, it's not a fish. No, a bird? Ah! No, not a bird. Well, then what is it? I give up. Buccaneer is just a fancy word for pirate, that's all. Oh, so that's why we're wearing the costumes? Yes, and because Mystery Island is packed with pirate history. Oh, okay. I see the connection now. Great. Let's just hope our guests are sharper than that. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Did you finish that list then? Yes, I did. I did everything you asked me to do. I swept the sidewalks, watered the flowers, made the beds. Well, that's great. Thank you. And I even did some things you didn't ask me to do. Really? Like what? Like cleaned up the glass vase. What glass vase? The one that I broke. Oh, dear. And I pulled the weeds from the front pots. You pulled the weeds? Those were not weeds. Those were ornamental grasses. Oh, well, they sure looked like weeds. So did you do anything else then, Dylan? Yup! I unloaded the dishwasher and put away the dishes. Oh, I suppose there's no harm in that. And to save space, I stacked them all in one great big tower. It was so high! <laughs> You know, it's funny, I suddenly feel a headache coming on. Oh, well, we can't have that. I'll get you some water. No, please. Uh, just what I don't need right now. Ah, oh, detective. Were you aware that there was a suspicious package in your mailbox? Oh, no, a submarine sandwich. Not my lunch, you nitwit. The parcel. Oh, yes, lovely. I've been expecting this. Thank you. Oh, you have, have you? Hmm, make a note of that. Um, make, make a note of what? What she just said. Um, what did she just say? What did you say? When? Just now. I don't remember. Um, so what do you want me to write down? Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Just be ready the next time I tell you to write something down. Yes, detective. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, bring you some water for your headache. All the glasses are broke, so I brought you the hose. <laughs> hmm. No employee. Yes. Ouch. Just started yesterday. Did he now? Hmm. Make a note of that. Uh, yes, detective. Did you check his references? What? Oh. Yes, apparently not. Hmm. Oh, about the background check. Yes, oh. Detective, we did a background check. A serial one? You know you cannot be too careful these days. Are you getting all of this? Yes, Detective. Hmm. What is your name, boy? Dylan Vale, Your Majesty. I mean, Your Excellency. I mean, Detective. Hmm. Villain Dale, you say? Well, let's say about that, won't we? Hmm. But in the meantime, 
I need to speak with Ms. Mibley privately about a very important matter. She said privately, which means you're not invited. Okay, I get the message. <sighs> so, I just received the coroner's report about uh, Mr. Richardson. Did you? What did it say? What did it say? Yes, the, the report. What did it say? Now, what kind of question is that? You know as well as I do that reports cannot talk. <laughs> yes, quite right, Detective. What did you find out then? Oh, well, what I found out is, is there was no evidence of foul play. So, apparently, Mr. Richardson died of natural causes. Oh, that's great. No, sorry, no, I just mean it's, it's great that there were no signs of foul play. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's good then that he died of natural causes. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, he's in a much better place now. So, thank you for letting me know. I do appreciate it. Yeah, it was my duty to let you know. So I did my duty and let you know. Right, yes, well, thanks just the same. Of course. And now I must leave so that I can continue doing my duty. Fighting crime. Good day. Mm -hmm. uh, detective, I do believe that your car is that way. Of course, mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew that. I was just um, detecting. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, I've got to put this. Well, Dylan, congratulations. You have officially met Detective No Clue. I'm not sure I like her. Oh, don't worry, she's harmless. So, what's that you got there? Oh, a book? That's not very exciting. Well, says who? Don't you know reading has many benefits? Like what? Well, let's see then. It helps your concentration, it improves your memory, makes you smarter. Just think of it as an exercise for your brain. Oh, okay. Can I go read my comic books now? Nice try. Okay, so what's your book about? It's about God's attributes. His what? His attributes. Um, like his characteristics, his love and his justice and his mercy. Basically what God is like. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I heard a quote the other day that really got me thinking. It said, the most important thing about you is what comes into your mind when you think about God. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yes, I know, I had to think about that for a moment, but it's true. I mean, nothing is more important than God. And my understanding of who he is really does affect how I live my life. And so I thought, well, I should probably get it right then. The problem is that we often get the wrong ideas of God. Now, those ideas aren't necessarily true or based on anything. In fact, if you were to do an internet search right now, the question, who is God? You would get over two billion answers and most of them are wrong. Well, then how are we supposed to know what God's really like? Well, that's easy, by reading God's word, the Bible. And if you haven't read it, you're going to realize God is so much greater than we could ever possibly even imagine. And he cares so much for you, Dylan. Perfect, our guests have arrived. Oh, great. All right, now listen. There's only Ooh, going to be... What am I supposed to do? Now. Just calm down, first okay. of all, and then smile and make them feel welcome, okay? This is their first visit to Mystery Island, and I would prefer that it not be their last. Okay, so how many will there be? Uh, just three. Just three? Well, yes, you see, this is a very special engagement. The season hasn't officially opened yet, so... Actually, this will be a great week for you to get your feet wet. Hmm. Ah, oh, here they are. Emily and Everett Richardson, brother and sister from Ohio. Oh, cute. Look how excited yeah. they are. I would say they should be. They think they've just won a vacation. Well, they're about to find out it's more than that. Much, much more. Really? Like what? Don't you worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Wait, but I thought you said there was three. Well, yes, there will be. Mr. Henson will arrive shortly. Hmm. My dear guests, I'm your host, Miss Mabry. Welcome to Mystery Island. Mystery Island.